Hi everybody, and welcome to another episode of The Outer Worlds. So, in this one, we are starting the quest kept secret, but not forgotten. And, uh, in this, basically, we are going after... Ooh, 100. Yay. Yeah, we're going after uh, the Hope. We're going to bring it to Phineas's lab. Okay, let's go on with it. Yeah, mainly just focusing on the main missions. And I'll probably do some of the side stuff in the post game. If there is a post, like in open world, free exploration part of this game. Because the thing, in a game like this, I'd feel compelled to uh, do side quests if I could interact with uh, um, companions a bit more. Because it looks like I can't really interact with them that much, just talk to them in the ship, etc. It's not really like Mass Effect kind of um, interaction, you know? Or, um, or like Fallout for that matter. Because even in Fallout, you can still talk to them and get to know them and uh, develop sort of like, you know, romantic interests, blah, blah, blah. Captain, I hope you have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. I'm impressed, Captain. I almost expected you wouldn't go through with it. Unfortunately, Dr. Wells found a way to corrupt the signal before we could pinpoint his location. Still, it's only a matter of time before we find him. Come visit me in Byzantium. We need to have a talk about the future of this colony. Byzantium's a big place. Meet me in my office. I've authorized your ship at my personal landing pad. Adjutant Akande has ended her call. Rather rudely, if I might say, considering she didn't sign off. Will there be anything else, Captain? Okay, let's go meet her. Um... Okay, yeah, let's go and uh, let's go meet her, shall we? We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. Sending a corrupted tracking signal to the board was quite clever, if I might say, Captain. Well, thank you, Ada. What's the name of this quest, anyway? We uh, long, long distance. Okay. So yeah, just just go and talk to her, I guess. Uh, so much, <laughs> so much, so much distance to Not cover. So fast. What? All right, you're clear. The adjutant's expecting you. Go on through. That's a lot of security. So much security, in fact. Most of them are just sitting there, chilling. Playing cards, having a drink. What? I... Ooh, I don't understand, like... Alright. <laughs> Calm now. <laughs> Just... Ah, uh, the, the, the bloody... How you, how you get around in this game, like the navigation stuff, really just grinds my gears. Okay. Back down, I guess. Of course not, I got the other bucket qu oh right. <laughs> That's my mistake. 
Right, now where does this point me? Right, there we go. Hopefully this is the right way now. Um, back to work, Sam. Ah, okay, so that was the woman. Ah, oh, right, yeah, from the side there, that didn't look like military dress for some reason. I just looked at the, uh, the jacket. I admit, part of me expected you to stand by your old friend. For better or worse, Wells was responsible for putting you back on your feet. That said, he's also a wanted criminal. For information regarding his whereabouts, you are entitled to collect a reward from Percival. Tell me why you wanted to see me. I understand you've infiltrated the Ministry. The things you discovered there must have been shocking, even disturbing. Halcyon is on the verge of a total systems collapse. The truth is ugly and difficult to accept, but we must accept the truth before we can move forward. Malnutrition is already a problem. Disease will come next, followed by starvation, followed by a breakdown of society, followed by extinction. I know this must come as a surprise to you. I imagine you have questions. What's in this for you? There's gotta be an angle. There always is for people like you. I appreciate your skepticism, Dr. Fenhel. But I'm not doing this for any personal gain. My angle is the preservation of our colony by any means possible. Nothing more, and nothing less. I won't pretend the truth isn't damning. Yes, the colony is on the verge of collapse. But there is a way to save it. Alright, well, tell me what needs to be done. We need to talk about Emerald Vale. You handed Edgewater over to a band of dissidents. I can't have this. Adelaide McDevitt and her people have no place in the Halcyon that is to come. Edgewater needs to go. I want you to wipe the town out. No survivors. I get that you board types are all about efficiency, but isn't this a bit much? I'm asking your captain to amputate a rotting limb from the colony. I'd expect you to understand, Dr. Fenhill. Now is not the time for half measures, Captain. I need a decision from you. I don't understand. Why? What did Edgewater do exactly to deserve this? You replaced a loyal, if hard-headed, town leader with a revolutionary. Adelaide's people have turned Edgewater into a hub of dissidents. These people are dangerous. They're going to become more dangerous after the collapse. We need to put them down. Now. Why me? Because right now you're the only person I can depend on. My hands are tied by endless rolls of red tape and bureaucratic limitations. Halcyon is going to collapse while the board hems and haws and debates minutia. We need to act, and you're the only person with the wherewithal to do what's necessary. I'm not asking you to be a murderer. I'm asking you to be a surgeon. Edgewater is a necrotic limb on the body of the colony. It must be severed. The answer is no. Don't make this more difficult than it needs to be, Captain. I rather like you. And I'd hate to have you shot for disobeying a direct order. I don't really have a choice, do I? Not true. You can choose to say, yes ma'am, or at once, Madam Adjutant, or as you wish, or even, I'll take care of it. Go to hell, Sophia. I'm disappointed. I was so sure you had potential. Their mistake. Wait, is this happening? I was taking up this entire floor. Did 
I go on easy mode? What's going on? I must have selected easy. No, it's normal. Okay. Customer, all germs and contaminants have been neutralized. Can we talk? So we're really gonna do this? I've seen lots of crazy, Captain, but Phineas is in a class of his own. Do you really think he knows what he's doing? Sending us to skip the Hope into Terra 2's orbit right under the board's nose? Yes, I trust Phineas. Something tells me you're the first person to ever utter those words, Captain. I think this whole plan's insane, but it'll make a good story, you know, if we survive. Speaking of, I get that Phineas thinks he's saving the colony, but what about you? Why risk your neck on this crazy scheme? Well, what about you? You're still with me. I'll do anything for a good story, and nothing shines on a pirate's resume like a successful suicide mission. But I asked you first. The people of Halcyon deserve a chance. So do the colonists on the Hope. Coming from anyone else, that would sound like a line from one of those Odeon Pictures movies. But I think you really mean it. Still, all this depends on the other Hope colonists. Are they going to pull us out of the shit? Or are we all just going to leave a bigger, uglier stain on this corner of the galaxy? We'll pull together. I'm confident in that. You're too trusting. And I'm going to remember that when I negotiate for my cut of our reward, okay? Well, whenever you're ready to do this, I'm with you. Anything else? Nope, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah. When she said reward, that's more likely going to be, like, a bounty on our heads. We did just wipe out an entire floor's worth of people. I mean, I killed that guy's secretary, for fuck's sakes. Okay, let's go, before they send another hit squad after us. Oh, I have to shoot my way through all those guys, don't I? Ah, oh, screw it, I can do it. I hope you two are ready. This is not going to be a fun fight. Uh, if there's any question about whose side I was on, I think I just answered it. Wow, his leg's still stuck there. Okay. N nick all this stuff. Get as much crap as I can. Shouldn't need any more, uh, like, should be so bad off for money after this. Alright, let's go. It is a wonder we don't get shot out of the sky for this. I did just shoot my way. Like, I've killed a high-ranking member of the board. 
and about like what like 30 ish guys leaving that place a lot 30 close to 20 around that ballpark so you know i'm like wanted right i'm, I'm I, I yeah i'm wanted i'm up there with phineas right now like as as, as public enemy number one So yeah, let's go straight on to the Hope, shall we? And kill some more bored guys. And then see where wherever that quest takes us. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. Who aren't? Uh who you are these? The adjutant? Now hold on. What happens if you hit the wall? Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Goodbye. Something on your mind? No, apparently not. Like, yeah, because it's like, yeah, this is happening on the ship, but when I go up to there, I can't, like, interact with them. to reroute power from our ship to the Hope's auxiliary generator. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. What's going to happen if I skip the Hope? If your calculations are even slightly off, you could crash the entire colony ship into Terra 2. Or the Sun. Uh, okay, um... Thanks. Take someone to watch your back, please. Will do. Okay, so back on track. There was a small detour there, so I could just kill that woman unintentionally. I thought she was just gonna like give me a reward or something. There was that talk of a reward, and then she was like, go and murder that town you saved. And I was like, no! It's a shame, though. Because I could have done with that reward money. Especially after buying this revolver. And then paying the bribe to get into the... Well, to get into that building, actually. That was like 3,000. Uh, 3,000 bits. Okay, what am I doing? Again. Oh, hello. Oh! We've started early. Okay, let's get back to it. What's uh, what's left? We have to get to the comm relay, right?
see, look at that. It's the exact same place I started the game. I came from that pod right there. Maybe. Mm, probably not. I don't know. successfully integrated myself into the Hope's comm systems, and am attempting to establish contact with the Hope's more primitive processor now. Would you like me to play a mood-suitable music selection while you travel to the bridge? Oh, sorry. File not found. Ah, okay, cool. Hope's computer up ahead. I'll admit, I am curious to wake him. Greetings, Captain. I am speaking to you through the Hope's computer system. It's a rather cramped feeling, but it'll do. I'm ready to skip the Hope. Are you sure? That is extremely dangerous. Skipping the Hope will void the warranty on the skip drive and also potentially kill an entire planet. How is my humor now, Captain? Improved? Uh, just skip the hope to Terra 2. Jump starting the skip drive. Destination set to the rings of Terra 2. Alright, I'm skipping it myself. I wouldn't advise that, Captain. In case I don't get another chance to say it, it's been interesting, Captain. I know what I'm doing. Okay, apparently I don't. You're right. This is too complex. You do it. Admitting a deficit. My, you never cease to amaze me, Captain. Skipping the hope in three, two, one. ADN, does your captain seriously intend to do a micro jump in system with engines that haven't been powered in 70 years on a derelict ship? That is what my captain intends, yes. But that is a gross misuse of the skip drive. The Zero Point Drives Corp and I will not be held responsible for any damage incurred during transport. And this will cause extreme damage. Yes, I am aware of that. You should not be doing this. The humans will die. Thank you, Hope. It looks like all systems are go. Captain, I would advise you to hold on to something. Now.
Oh, good. We are still alive and have successfully skipped into Terra 2's orbit. I reported as much to Phineas Wells, but he has not responded. Perhaps you should check in on him. Did we move? Okay, uh -huh. we'll do. Let's go. Was that an attempt at humor, Doctor? Certain levels of drollness are difficult for me to discern. Yeah, I don't know why I put so many points into long guns when I I'm using a friggin' revolver. Okay, he might be in a spot of trouble now. Considering the uh, the last time I saw him, I did put out that tr uh, tracking signal. So yeah, looks like I'm gonna have to fight my way through more bored soldiers. That's if I get to the ship. God, that was a long hike, wasn't it? it could just be that elevator ride. Okay, yeah, I, I'll be honest, um, the combat in this, the, the further into the game I'm getting, isn't really active, then, if you know what I mean. Like, you obviously you know what I mean, you've seen it, you know, it isn't uh, that challenging, you just aim for the head and you take off like a good part. It feels more like a first-person shooter, then, rather, than a RPG shooter. Captain, I am receiving a transmission from Dr. W Captain, I shall now play the transmission I received from Dr. Wells. Thank the Lord you warned me. I was able to get some defenses up, but they might not be enough. The board has sent some serious firepower to pry me out of here. They're trying to get in here, and I'm not sure I can stop them. If they capture me, if we can't communicate again, there's something very important you need to remember. The board. All their lackeys, they're all a bunch of swine! Do you hear me? They're fucking corporate swine! You fucking pigs! I'll take you all out with me! I'll never... It would seem the recording captured some rather dire events. I presume you'll want to dock at the orbital lab to check on your associate as soon as possible? How can I be of assistance? May luck be with you. Of course, as I am sure you are aware. Love okay, yeah, skip that part. Let's go and uh, help the good doctor, shall we? Now arriving at Phineas's top secret orbital lab. Weirdly, I did like jump right next to that place, so sh should have just brought me right out by the lab anyway. But you know, whatever. Just nick them, just nitpicking here. How did they get in there? How do I get in there? 
Oh, there's a door up here. Obviously. Oh, of course. What is wrong with that guy? Okay, so go to Tartarus. Wait, this sounds like the end game. This has this. Uh, uh, uh okay. <laughs> I'll accept it. Fine, whatever. This sounds like the end game. It probably is the end game. This isn't as long as I was expecting it to be. Then again, there is like a ton of extra like faction stuff and all this crap. But I was expecting like a longer main quest. But uh, fine, I'll take it. Um, I will. I will go to Groundbreaker and finish that faction quest for Lilia when I'm at it. Okay, so I may actually finish this in the next episode, you never know. And then I'll just sit here, shocked. Shocked. Then again, you know, I have been playing Death Stranding prior, like I did take a break from this to go play Death Stranding, so, and that is like a ridiculously long game. Fun, but ridiculously long. So, it kind of makes sense, really, that uh, I think this is short. I mean, if I do finish a this, I'm... to all crew members. There is only one toilet on the ship. Okay. Yeah, but if I... Captain, as it uh. appears we may soon be embarking for a maximum security prison planet, I believe the crew would like to speak with you to, as you humans put it, there are some concerns. Okay. Doc Wells never hurt nobody. Just a kindly old fella living by his lonesome up in the rings, tinkering at his table. The board just couldn't leave him be. Mr. Phineas is just about the only person with power trying to do any kind of good in Halcyon. We gotta bust him out. To extract the scientist, you will need to infiltrate the labyrinth. But that course of action is likely to be quite dangerous, Captain. We can't abandon Phineas. We have to free him if we... if we have any hope of saving this colony. I am programmed.
program to warn you whenever you exhibit inclinations toward risky behavior. Breaking into Tartarus will not be easy. Getting in is the simple part. It's getting out again that's the trouble. Trust me, I know. Let's just do it. Kick down some doors, grab Doc Wells, and cut a path out. We don't need a plan. We got guns. If you really mean to do this, you should see to your final affairs and close out any unfinished business. Once you sneak into Tartarus, you may be there a while. Or permanently. Alright, we're doing it. Everyone strap in. If we don't make it, at least it'll be a great story. Got my trusty tossball stick. Got my ass kicking boots. I'm ready, boss. Outstanding. You can count on us, Captain. We're crew. For real crew. That means we got each other's backs. Right? Never thought I'd volunteer to break into a prison. Seems like your tendency towards risky behavior is rubbing off on me, Captain. Command not recognized. Waiting on your command, Captain. Alright. Well, glad to see you all seem happy about it. I need to go to the Groundbreaker, though, and finish that quest, because that's lingering. Um, I might do Vicar Max's quest, because that's there, too. What is... Uh, see, I'm not even that interested in some of these companion quests, though. Like, in doing them. The art is kind of just... Yeah. Yeah. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Because that's the thing, I mean, I'm not even having like a hard time fighting in combat, so I don't know why I need to do them. <laughs> you know, it's just bizarre. Like, if it was hard and I needed to level up, I could understand. Like, Assassin's Creed uh, Odyssey does something similar. Like, you know, that, that, that has massive, like, difficulty spikes, and you need to do some side stuff to keep up, you know, keep up with the strength of, you know, the main quest line, blah, blah, blah. But uh, this one, it's like... I mean, I took out Adjutant What's Her Face on a whim. Uh, I shot my way through the, everyone on the Hope, then everyone at Phineas's lab on a whim. Pretty much, like, you know, well, on a whim, but, you know, um, without any sort of challenge. So I don't know how hard this prison planet could possibly be. All right, I'll finish this quest and I'll uh, flip a coin or something. Hey, be careful with those crates. Because, yeah, I guess this, this isn't like a... I mean, I, I've enjoyed the game, don't get me wrong. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. But this isn't like a... Uh, a Bioware experience, then. Oh, like an old Bioware experience. God knows. Not, not, it's better than Anthem, put it that way. But it's not like... Um, like Dragon Age, then. You know, Mass Effect. I'm not like it's gonna get to the end and there's not gonna be like a big sort of I get the feeling anyway. There's not gonna be like a big uh, uh ceremony, etc etc. I'm sure I could get up here. Salvage is a family business. We got each other's backs. Yeah. Why can't I get up here? Mr. Lilio takes good care of us, see? The authorities stay off our tails. Ah, there you go. Right, well yeah, I'm gonna finish this quest and screw it, let me take a look. Not so interested in these ones. Tasks, so there's little things here and there. Set up a, dub, a dummy beneficiary account for Ellie. Search the outpost, take Max to the Hermit on Cilia. On Cilla. Alright, well, I'm hoping there's an end game. So I'll finish the game and I'll do Good some of the side game. stuff later. The bits come from. That gas is going to make us a fucking mint. 120 some cubic meters of it at a million bits a pop. Take this. You've earned it. When we get buyers lined up, I'm gonna buy a gold toilet to shit in. That's lovely, thank you, for that imagery. Uh, yes, the height of ambition for us all. You're goddamn right. 
Monarch isn't exactly a walk down the lanes of Byzantium. But here you are with all your limbs attached. Call me impressed, contractor. Uh, in case you were curious, no one was following me. No one you saw, anyway. Glad to see you're looking out for yourself. You've been keeping busy. I hear you took on some extra work at Fallbrook. Catherine sounds pleased as a pig in shit over cornering the Borst markets. Hey, when you were at the slaughterhouse, those swine didn't give you any... strange looks, did they? Depends on what you mean by strange. Like they were hanging on to your every word, scheming. And when you turned around, maybe they just point like innocent little idiots. Could have sworn one of them winked at me. I knew it. I'm probably getting worked up over nothing. Just try not to think about pigs. You never know, you know? Sure, whatever you say. Attaboy. I have another job lined up. Assuming you're still interested in work, you're gonna salvage me a space station. Heliospheric Research Station 1084, to be exact. I want it. Cobwebs and all. Interested? Sounds like a major business expansion. It pays to get in on those early, you know. This opportunity won't come around again, Captain. Sure, just point me in the right direction. Here, this override bypass should get you into the station systems where you can plant my flag. And one last thing. When you get there, make sure you aren't followed. We wouldn't want that. Um, yeah, of course not. Uh, understood. I'm on the heels of something big. Play your cards right and I'll clue you in. But right now, I'm not sure who I can trust. Just be careful. Someone might try and use you to get to me. Oh, this woman's insane. Okay, well, I'm going to call it an end here, I think, because I'm going to be doing the last mission, uh, the last quest in this next episode. So, yeah, I'm going to call it a day. Um, hope you've all enjoyed. Probably not going to do a lot of the side stuff in this one, because... Uh, usually I would, for, like, completion sake. But... I get the feeling I'm not going to get anything from it in terms of gaming. I'm just going to get bits, which I clearly don't need, and experience, which I seem to be getting a ton of anyway, because I level I level up like two or three times per episode. So yeah, I think this does have a balancing issue, maybe. Uh, the further into the game you get. But who am I to complain? I'm not a game developer. I just play them, I don't make them. Um, yeah, so if you could leave a like, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, first of all, if you could leave a like and a comment, anything you like, down below, I'll try and get back to you if I can, if you want me to get back to you. And uh, if you haven't done so already, can you hit that subscribe button, because it keeps you up to date uh, as well, if you hit the um, notification button down below. Usually they turn that on automatically, maybe, sometimes, I'm not sure. But yeah, hit that subscribe button, and if you haven't, uh, if it's unactivated, do hit that bell icon, because it does help you uh, keep up to date. Anyway, I've rambled on enough. Uh, I'm going to call it a day. That's it for now, and until the next episode, you have a great time and look after yourself. Mm -hmm.